heard tell of an ox cart travelling the road tonight. Honestly, I follow every regulation to the letter and only travel. There's been much talk on the street of this phantom ox cart that travels after sunset. But I've heard rather enough of it. Our hands are full enough as it is. Those things can't always go my way. Oi! Shove off. I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it, this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart travelling a night is suspicious enough in its own right, if to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? I've done not worth following me over. Who are you? Come no closer! Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. Tis a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. Oh, I suppose it was too much to hope for. It is all over for me now. Many thanks. We'll take it from here, sir. Worry not, he'll receive his due soon enough. Till then. He'll be made comfortable in the dungeons. have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, so you've encountered the Phantom Ox Cart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the law does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter 
but its make and the quality of the parchment. I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawn's destination? Perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid Your Majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap Your Majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to Your Majesty's discretion. What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. As a matter of fact, who could have guessed that so many who were once arisen yet live? Though they are arisen no longer, it seems they still retain special powers. I wonder if they were possessed of steadfast... Oh, it's coming out. Got to buy more drink. Could do with a proper meal. Would you? Halt! We're expecting your cargo. Open up. I hear they follow whatever command they're given. And they'll take any meeting without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. Enough! That's valuable merchandise you're toying with. Worth more than your wages combined. Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No. We're off. On your knees, worthless vessels! Perhaps some more thorough examination is required here. Wait! You're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst! To our- <laughs> Bizarre. We must inform Captain Brant at once. I know where that person can be found, Master. This way. The guide is most welcome. Now we shall.
You have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, then. You have to find the Oxcast destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The stuff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal. Yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such perilous tasks, tis contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer no but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence is most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought be used. At least here the Queen Regent shall face justice. You have succeeded when my own master failed, Arisen. That was certainly worthwhile. <laughs>